Welcome to this week's End of Days Update coming to you from Tulsa, Oklahoma. We had such a great time up in Massachusetts and in New Hampshire. I wasn't able to be there. But if you can, this weekend we're going to be in Effingham, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Gosh, it's going to be so fun. It's Ross Roberts Ministries. Tons of preachers there. You never know who's going to speak. There's tons of meetings. It'll be fun. And if you can, after that, try to come to Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. We'll have a great time. In Effingham, we'll be at New Beginnings Church. And in Fond du Lac, we'll be at Grace Christian Church. So we're coming to you every week to look at the different things that point to the coming of the Lord, specifically uh, the gathering of nations for the Ezekiel 38 war, because we know the rapture is signless, but the second coming has tons of signs, and you see the nations that are kind of a setup for that getting all aligned right now. It's pretty remarkable to to watch it uh, play out right before our eyes. So we always look at things that happen around Israel. So let's pick up what's happened. You know, Jesus said, you can tell what the weather is going to be, but you don't know your hour, your visitation. So he wanted them to know. So an amazing thing about end time preaching is it's not an escape theology. It's a, you see the finish line, you run faster. So all the information we'll get into today should cause us to accelerate, to do more and finish off the book of Acts uh, uh, with our own chapter, right? I used to always say you're writing your own chapter of the book of Acts. Uh, Can we follow you around and write down what the Lord's doing in your life? And right now you're writing your resume for what you'll be doing during the millennium. So we're so privileged to have all this information and all these verses coming to pass right in front of our eyes. We're a super, super privileged generation. Let's pick up what's happened around Israel. Probably the number one thing was Iran uh, is having a big missile exercise this month, along with this next week, along with basically practicing everything all over the country, touting and showing off that they can hit Israeli drones. Same time, America with the F-35s is having a, a big uh, exercise and drill with the Israeli Defense Forces. So they're kind of coinciding back and forth like that. So it's pretty bizarre. You had a cutter uh, in the middle of basically trying to bring a truce with Hamas and the Palestinians in Gaza. Uh, from firing rockets into Israel. Well, Hamas broke the truce, started firing rockets into Israel. Israel's retaliated and pounding them, really big targets. But of course, the Palestinians put targets around schools and around children, so it's hard for Israel to get to those. But I always said it, and I've heard it said many times, the Palestinians seem like they always miss an opportunity to miss an opportunity. (laughs) So even Arabs are trying to help Arabs make peace with Israel because it's remarkable to see Bahrain and and, uh, United Arab Emirates pushing forth uh, and being boldly committed to their commitment to peace with Israel. So a lot of things are happening, though. There's so many things happening. Turkey is pulling out of a couple of bases in northern Syria because even the secular media, I've said the last two weeks, is talking about Turkey completely aligning itself up with wars all around Israel. And then two weeks ago, Erdogan from Turkey came out and said, Jerusalem doesn't belong to Israel, it belongs to Turkey. So that's the verbiage you're going to see after the rapture of the church. That's really psychotic mentality. But you you see that happening again. But you see that in mentality. You had Islamic people cut off heads in Paris. That teacher got her head cut off in France is pushing to uh, extricate some people out of the Islamists out of the country there. So that that spirit shows up and that's a spirit. It's a spirit of murder. So you had Russia today uh, fly by an uh, an Israeli uh, passenger plane and kind of buzz it a little bit. Just crazy. You have, you have so many uh, little interesting things like that. This one was kind of wild. You know, I've talked about CERN before, but not very much on the end of day's update. CERN is an underground particle collider in Switzerland where they're looking for the God particle. They came out saying this week that they're about to break into the next dimension and the next realm. It is interesting. You should Google CERN, C-E-R-N. Their logo is 666. They're looking for the God particle. So you're you're going to see all this stuff coming to the forefront with the Antichrist coming on the scene. So you got strange things with weather, though. you got another tropical storm, storm called Epsilon. You had earthquakes in Iceland. I mean, earthquakes, I'm sorry, off off Alaska, 7.5 magnitude. And then you had huge volcanic eruptions in Iceland and in Russia. Their concern was the one in Russia almost was going to be similar to the one that was in 536 A.D. So you got the weather having crazy things. you got COVID. Israel's had such a massive lockdown because of COVID. They're just starting to kind of open back up. But the... The, the curve went down just a little bit, but all these things are pointing to the coming of the Lord. It's interesting that uh, the Ezekiel 38 has such uh, flawless nations mentioned, and each one of the nations that aren't mentioned that are going to attack Israel, uh, they're going through peace agreements right now. You had in the West Bank, you had some uh, archaeological findings, just like you had in the Temple Mount a few weeks ago. They found some cisterns and some uh, pots and pans that were tied to Israel 2,000 years ago. So every single week, you got things that are promoting that uh, the land is, is Israel. So 
exciting times, very exciting times. So we always go with all this stuff, and I'm probably missing a few things because there's so much going on, uh, specifically about anti-Semitism and BDS, boycott, divest, and sanction. But let's go to the scripture. The Bible never fails to show us the information. The signs are flawless. They're, they're amazingly clear. Jesus said the generation that sees Israel made a nation in 1948 and Jerusalem won back in 1967. He said that group of people will not pass away till all is fulfilled. But then you got the Hebrew language restored. You got the Ethiopian Jews brought back. You got the fertility of the land of Israel. You have the Temple Mount Institute that's ready. You have 172 different species of predatory birds. That's amazing. And then in the, just recently, you had foxes show up on the Temple Mount. You had fish show up in the Dead Sea. You had the ritual baths around the Temple Mount fill up with water. These are things that, man, it's just showing the rabbis, Jesus, the Messiah, is just about to come. Pretty remarkable. So one thing after another, uh, uh, you had the Ethiopian Jews brought back, 18,000 airlifted in one day because God said this is what he would do. So you're watching things that the Father, Father said he would do just before it's the day of honoring the king. Jesus came the first time. It was in humility and quiet. He's about to be magnified where everyone will hit their knee. Every, every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess that he's Lord to the glory of God the Father. This is the hour of the Son. We call it the revelation, the revelation of Jesus as the king. So all these signs are pointing to the second coming of the Lord. So, if I mean, that shows you uh, the rapture is about seven or eight years before that. So we don't have a lot of time. But then after that, you got signals. You know, we talked about the signs of the coming of the Lord. There's many. Men will be lovers themselves with selfie sticks. But the changes that are coming, you've got signals. You had blood red moons on Passover and Tabernacles, four in a row a couple years ago. Crazy. When's the last time you had four in a row on Passover and Tabernacles? 1967, when Jerusalem was won back. 1948, when Israel was made a nation. 1492 at the Edict of Expulsion when the Jews were kicked out of Spain. So you have really amazing things happening on dates that the, the, the blood red moons were there. Then after that, you have the Bethlehem Star, you have Jupiter, Regulus, and Venus coming together. The birth of Jesus this last year, NBC Nightly News, so we have a celestial event. I mean, it's pretty amazing when the heavens are speaking, the earth is speaking. You got the coronavirus, which are uh, basically contractions. That would be just before the, the tribulation. So all these things are happening right now. And then you got Mercury doing a flyby of the sun. Went down directly over the Temple Mount at, at sundown, literally showing that the planets <coughs> formed a sickle, the moon formed a sickle. Orion changed its instrument to hammer. He had hammer and sickle on the same day. England likes it when you get into the signs in the heavens. <laughs> But aren't we privileged and blessed that all this information shows us how close we are? We're about to see the king. Wow, what do you do? Help your local church, help your local pastor, get the message out. Jesus is just about to come. Hey, come back next Wednesday. We'll pick up with what's happened. So many little things are happening. It'll be interesting to see what happens with CERN, the particle collider that where they're looking for the God particle. It'll be intriguing to see what, what comes out of that. So have a blessed, awesome week. Colleen and I thank you for supporting us. Thank you for praying for us. We have an ex extremely busy schedule all the time, but we have to get the message out. Jesus is just about to come. We'll see you next Wednesday. Thanks for joining us today at the End of Days Update. If you'd like to be notified every time there's a new post, just go to the edu at josephmorris.com and subscribe to receive email alerts. If these posts and updates have been a blessing to you, please consider making a one-time donation to help get the message out or even becoming a monthly partner with Joseph Morris Ministries. Thanks again for tuning in to the EDU, and we'll see you next week.